What is up everyone? Hope all is well on your side of the screen. Um, I finally ripped my heritage. Had a mega from Walmart and a hobby box. Originally I was going to make it a two-part video and rip packs on camera, but honestly I just wasn't feeling it. Ripped everything over the course of a week with the morning coffee. Decided to save the last three packs from the hobby box for the video. Thought I would be saving the box hit, but ended up pulling the hit out of the fourth to last of the three packs. I think that's a correct description. Anyways, it was the pack that was sitting on top of this one is where I got the hit. So, however you want to word that correctly. Um, I've had hobby boxes from Heritage produce more than one hit, so you never know. So, I went ahead and saved three packs for those that really like to watch the pack openings. I did, however, record the opening in my office, just not in the traditional video style. I just had the camera pointing down. I wasn't talking, so there's one hit that I may splice into this video for those that really like to see the hit card pulled. And when I say it's a hit, it's a hit for me because it's a PC player. Uh, going into it, I had my money on the Mega Box from Walmart, taking the win, but I have to give it to the Hobby Box. Actually, I guess it was my money on both, but you know what I mean. Obviously, these aren't fair comparisons and our only opinion, but how can you go wrong with the opinion of a guy that calls himself Hedgehog on YouTube? Starting off, we got our Walmart Mega haul over here on the left. Um, the Walmart Mega ended up producing eight rookie cards. Um, we'll just go through them here. When I say rookie cards, I do not count the um, these action and boyhood stars. Um, I don't consider them to be actual rookie cards. They are, even though they are cool, I do sleeve them, but I just don't consider them to be rookies. Um, and with SPs, we pulled five SPs out of the Walmart. I um, already had Chris Sale and John Gray from Blasters, but that's okay. Trade bait. Um, inserts. Inserts are super tough pulls and heritage this year. With me anyway, especially the Clemente cards. That is going to be a tough set to build. Um, I don't... It's six inserts if you count these lids. Um, I don't hate the lids, but I don't really care for them either. It's not an insert set and I'm going to be building. Um, so these are the inserts we got out of there. I really like these then and nows. And one Clemente out of the box. And then of course our, th our three blue parallels, which is the reason you buy these in the first place. Obviously pulling a big name rookie or even a big star would make for better results, but um, honestly, no matter what I would have pulled out of here, I would have still chosen the hobby box as the winner. But man, these are super, super cool looking. And you can just stare at those all day. That would be a cool set to put together. Um, shout out to BD Kane, who really has some incredible sets he's working on. Kind of sets he's been working on for a long time just because they're are difficult more difficult than those but let's move on here uh, our hobby box uh, don't even remember where I started on the uh, Walmart I guess it doesn't matter all right rookie cards in the hobby box ended up well with three packs remaining so this number could change hopefully it does so 11 rookie cards so far out of the hobby box Do believe the uh, the Walmart Mega definitely produced the uh, the better rookie cards. That's for sure. So if you're looking for the rookie card stars, they definitely got a better deal with the Walmart um, SPs. We had, I believe, seven SPs. Um, 
inserts. There was five inserts. Already had the Atari one. But got two of the Clementes out of the hobby box, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, you got the uh, the Boyhood Stars here. Um, our guaranteed hit from the from the box was this Blake Snell patch. No offense to Mr. Snell, but um, he is not what made the hobby box the winner. Um, the winning card goes to this Aaron Judge. And what makes it the winner is it is the Missing Stars variation. So... Ooh, sweet. Nice. I believe there are 13 cards that have this variation, which is a tough pull anyhow. Um, and to get a PC guy makes it even tougher. I um, guess it could have looked up the odds before I did the video. Would have would have been pretty cool information to have, I guess. But I didn't do that. Um, so let's see here. We need to obviously open up the remaining three packs. We will set Judge up here while I hit the camera. And, well, it's not going to go down there. So, let's uh, see what we get out of the rest of these. Maybe we will actually get something good. I did notice by putting the set together, these in-action cards come directly, numerically they come directly right after the base card in the set, so that's pretty cool. I assume they probably did that in the, uh, in the decent, decent rookie, and we got a Glaber at the end. So I assume the, the in-actions probably... Did the same thing in the um, original 72 set. People familiar with that set probably already know that information. Aaron Judge in action. So yeah, the uh, Aaron Judge is 122 in action, so this one should be 121, and it is 121. As if I didn't already explain that, but just so you have a visual. I got a, another rookie stars. And uh, then and now, I do believe I have a, I do believe I have that one, but, well, what are you going to do? 
So we've already added two rookie cards and an insert to our account. One. And we got another short print, which is the Robinson Cano. And one thing I've noticed is you get these kind of lighter backs and then you get the darker backs, which they kind of had that same thing in 72. Um, I'm debating on building a, a lighter back set and a darker back set. Um, and if you do it with SPs as well, that would be a, a tough set. I don't know. Chris Bubik, Aaron Nola, a lot of inactions in this one. So, not going to produce another hit, but still pulling some different rookies and short prints. Still say the uh, Walmart box probably produced the better rookies, but I am still super happy. Pulling the Aaron Judge, missing stars card. So, you know, value wise, if you are just looking to build the base set, not caring about a hit, I still think the mega boxes from Walmart would actually be the way to go. I didn't crunch any numbers to back that up, but again, it's an opinion from a guy named Hedgehog on YouTube, but you are watching him. So I do have one more Mega, which I'll likely open, and I have some blasters. Um, if anyone needs any base, I assure you I will probably have plenty. Um, any SP or insert duplicates will be up for grabs as well. As with 2020, I will likely throw Common Sense out the window and chase after a master set. But I will do this one much slower. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.